Hello viewers and welcome back to another video from us here at GT Sports Mates. So why are we loading a replay? Now I know a lot of you like to watch um, the live races and I'd love to do that for you. Unfortunately I just can't do that at the minute so the replays are where we are but the replays can be just as good because you get better camera angles and you can do a lot more editing um, to show you the race in a better in a better perspective instead of just all being from one one view so i actually prefer watching the replays if i'm being completely honest here so why are we showing this i mean it's not exactly a big a big lobby five races not exactly thrilling amounts of cars the reason i wanted to show you this is because of the types of cars and we're just about to get on the way and i'm going to do something very very stupid and you'll see what i'm about to do false starts were wrong which means if you jump the gun you get a penalty so guess what i go ahead and do that's right, I just fell off the brake and instantly, instantly got a two second penalty on the line, dropping straight down to fifth place. Now, I know I said there wasn't many cars, and there, obviously there isn't, but the reason I want to show you it is because of this. Now, I've just served a two second penalty straight away on the line, and I am already, after turn one, halfway down Mountain Straight, looking to make a move on the guy in fourth. Now, how is that possible? How is that possible? So this Mustang, which I am absolutely loving, by the way, I recommend it to everyone. Give it a go. It is so, so quick in a straight line. All right, look, I'm looking to make a move on the guy in second now. Around that corner, it's not going to happen. But that's how quick this Mustang is. Even with a two second penalty, I managed to get off the line, catch up and go from fifth to third. Fifth to third in less than three corners. So yeah, this Mustang in a straight line, no joke. However, the part of the track we're on now, through the mountain passes, this is called now, all these up bits, and then where we start to drop down here now, as I just run a little into the wall, uh, um, getting my line a bit wrong. That part of the mountain, as I get tapped, and I do go into the wall because I got tapped. You know, racing incident, it was fine, nothing major came of it, so we're all good. As we are now in P1, as I get shunted, coming out of Forest Elbow. Luckily, I don't, well, I'm saying luckily, um, there was no issue there. There wasn't an issue with that. That's, that is it. And I don't think it was intentional. It was just a racing incident again. So yeah, no hard feelings though. But we're now in first place on the first lap after serving a two second penalty because of the straight line speed of this Mustang. However, this is why I keep coming back to it and I, I keep interrupting myself. The Mustang in the corners, struggle it really does struggle through the corners the lack of grip and downforce compared to the other four cars behind me just shows how much it struggles through the corners and that is why i wanted to show you this race as the corvette just goes off there and drops down in a few positions watch this now starting lap two only a three lap race very quick very quick video so please stay with us coming around hell's corner there very tight corner look at the gap between myself and the guy in second. Now it doesn't look like a very big gap, but that was actually around one and a half seconds, I think it was, if I remember rightly, um, at that point. But this is where the turning starts to come in. The corners are starting to hit now as we've gone up into the mountain, and you will see that gap just disappear. That gap is about to disappear as that Renault is so, so good in the corners. Not as good in the straight line, the Mustang will win that all day long, but in the corners, that Renault is no joke, whereas the Mustang struggles, and watch it. Coming through the mountain now, um, we're up to turn 9, I think it's 9, and, uh, no, I think this one's coming up to turn 9, sorry, now, now turn 10, but just look at the gap, look at that gap, the Renault's almost just come past me. That is how unbelievably important it is to choose the right car. For each race. I love this Mustang and at, at most tracks this Mustang is very very difficult to beat simply because of the straight line speed and here at Mount Panorama you can look at the map it's basically just two, one really really long straight which we're currently now on which is called Conroe Straight. There's a little kink in it called the Chase but that's flat out but the rest of it's all corners so it's 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 a game of cat and mouse it's it's fire and ice, it's, it's straight line speed versus cornering ability. Who will come out on top? 
and this is why I wanted to show you this video because it's just such a great way to learn and just see how this game really does operate. It's so it, when you're in a battle like this, when you know you can outdo someone in a straight line, but then you know you've got to defend for your life through the corners, and it's a big section of corners up and down that mounted pass, and it's not just left and right, no, there's cambers, there's all sorts going on, which will really unsettle your car. I'm just about to break away again, coming down the mountain straight here, but will it last? Can I defend against the, the pack behind? Will they catch up? I'm going purple there now on lap three, which means I'm even faster. You can see the gap, it's even bigger this time round. As the, is that the Renault? I think the Renault here just goes sideways and loses some traction through that corner. I am driving this Mustang like it means my life at this point. I really am. I cannot afford to lose the back end coming through this mountain. Um, because as fast as this Mustang really is, and as long as Conrad straight in, if I lose it coming through the top of the mountain here now, I do think the gap would be too much. Um, because they could just push on and I'd have to basically come to a stop then restart and keep going look at him, look at him coming up now he's flying up behind the amount of downforce and grip them cars have compared is ridiculous but is it going to be enough will the slipstream of the Mustang pull along the guy behind me down Congrod straight, will it make him will it give him the opportunity because that um, Corvette yeah it is, it's the Corvette that Corvette isn't slow either. That is a phenomenally quick car. The Mustang is slightly quicker. But look at it. It's all over. And I know that Cor um, that Corvette has got better cornering ability. I have to defend for my life as we come through the chase now up to turns 21, 22. Hard on the brakes there. Really trying to get this thing to grip. I know he's going to look for a move. It's his last chance now coming down to the last corner Murray's corner and it's such a difficult corner I'm defending as much as I can parking it on the apex there around the corner and I think I'm just about going to hold him up here as we come across the line with what is possibly the one of the closest battles at Mount Panorama I have had so there we go that's why I wanted to show you it choosing your car per track is very important but on a track like this, it is so much better when you have a mix of straight line speed and cornering ability. So that's why I wanted to show it. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, please give us a like, give us a comment, subscribe if you will as well. And until next time, we will see you all.